Choosing your Fiverr username is an important step that you want to get right from the start. The reason that you want to get it right from the start is because you can't change your username once your account is registered. So my advice is really to just uh, use your actual name as your username. And there's a couple of reasons why I'd advise you to do this instead of mentioning your niche or choosing a username that you don't use anywhere else online. And the number one you know, reason for me is I see Fiverr as a kind of extension of what else I'm doing online. So I want to keep all of my profiles consistent. I want to have the same username. And even though Dara Walsh is, you know, especially Dara is not a name that's familiar to a lot of people. It's quite hard to say that they're not even sure how to pronounce it. I still think it's better because it's consistent with all my other profiles. You can see my Udemy profile here, my Twitter profile. And so <clears throat> I see this as part of what I'm doing online, not the only thing that I'm doing online. And I'm sure you have all of these social networks as well. Um, and although they might not be connected right now, you may move into Fiverr more full time and you want everything to be consistent later on. Now, the other main reason is that if you do mention your niche in your username, you can't change it. And, the, and that means that it's going to be harder for you to change your gigs. The reality is, is that when you start on Fiverr, you're going to offer certain services in certain categories. You may find that they don't work. They're too competitive. You may find that you actually want to do something else. And so having a username that uh, you've picked from the start is not really going to help you. And here is a great example of this. This guy, Book Review Stu, has commented on this very uh, thing before and warned people about this. He started off on Fiverr doing book reviews, and that's why he called himself Book Review Stu. But now you can see that he's a video spokesperson. All of his gigs are really focused around recording videos on green screens and whatever, and he's become a uh, Fiverr super seller. But, you know, having this in his name really is a little bit confusing now for buyers, so there's really no advantage in it. Um, so that's my advice on selecting your Fiverr account. I would just keep it consistent with your name. If you've got a very complicated name, um, maybe just try and shorten it down, um, but have that consistent with your other online profiles. Okay, so go ahead and do that now if you haven't done so already.